I'm Pamela Hunter and I'm going to share with you what to do when you get your premium starter kit in the mail. You get this nice box and then you get your diffuser of choice. This one's the home diffuser. So let's just unbox this baby right now. So you just slide off the top and you have this little tab that opens up and voila, right away there's oils. So right now there are 10 oils that you see here. We're gonna go through those. And then there's a trap door. There's a little tab right here. Pull that out and yep, things might be falling around in there and that's okay. These little sachets are little samples. They have about three to six drops in them of the different oils listed on them. So those are great to share with friends or put in your pocket or your handbag or briefcase to take with you. Then you also have little sample bottles that you can use your bigger oils to put in the sample bottles to carry with you or give to friends. And if you're gonna give them to friends, they come with these little cards that you actually, they have a little hole that you can stick the bottle through that little hole right there and give a gift of a little essential oil. Then you get the 11th oil is back here behind the trap door, which is stress away. And we'll talk about that. These two packets are our whole food puree, Ninja Red, which are vibrant energy, vitamins and minerals in a whole food puree juice, 18 amino acids, 21 trace minerals, polysaccharides, antioxidants, B vitamins, E is even in there. So these are great. You might want to chill these in the refrigerator or even freeze them and make a popsicle out of them. So they're really great. They're samples to test and I bet when you test these out, you're going to love it. The other thing in here, which a lot of people get confused, is this little cap. And in this is a roller ball. So you can pop the top off of your existing bottle, pop that little plastic piece off, put the little roller bottle in. Don't worry about jamming it in because when you screw on the top, screw it all the way down, this piece will pop right into place on your bottle. And it is my favorite to put it on the stress away bottle. So there are directions that I can share with you that come in your kit and they're right here in this little pocket. So a lot of people ignore this because they think, ah, oh, this is just ordering information. Well, it's more than that. So let's see exactly what's in there to help us along. So there is a cheat sheet card, essential oils at a glance. So it gives you ways to use every oil in this kit, as well as how to use them. And we'll go through that aromatic, topically and dietary and how to dilute and then a little more information about Ninja Red. So we're gonna go through this. And then in here, which is a really cool roadmap to Young Living. So if you pull this out, it gives you a roadmap of where to start. And so Young Living is very active in social media. There's a Get Started tab right on your virtual office when you go online and sign into your account. And then you can check out the social media, but there's something in your back office called Young YL University. And there's so much learning back there. We can't wait for you to view all of that. Then it just takes you on a journey and keeps going and going. There is sharing information in here. And what that means is if you share with three of your friends and they buy a premium starter kit, and you hook them up with your member number, you could actually get your oils for free because you would get a commission check. So there's all that information that's on here and you can read it at your leisure. There's also another order form in case you do wanna share with somebody and the directions on how to put the top on that roller top on your oil. So one more piece. This piece is about where to start and essential rewards and three for free. If you do love it so much that you want to share the oils. So let's see, what would you share? Let's talk about the oils. So stress away, the one behind the trap door. The name says it all, but when you open the cap and you take the scent in, it smells limey, vanilla-y. And when I take it in, I feel like I'm going to that happy place where stress is away. So see how you feel when you open it. I do wanna to say to you, that one's already out of the box, 
But look, I'm gonna take each one of these out of here. And I want you to do the same thing. Please don't keep your oils in the box. If they're in the box all nice and tidy, you won't use them. Let's put them in places where you will get them out of this box and you will use them. And let's share how, okay? Here we go, three more to get out. Let's start with one of my favorites and let's talk about lavender. This is Lavendula gustifolia and lavender is soothing, calming, and relaxing to most people. I also, I'm gonna share with you my favorite ways to use it. I like to take lavender and drop it right into my palm of my hand and rub it right on my neck under my ears here, especially when I go outside, go for a bike ride, am out in tall grasses, the wind is blowing. I feel like it's a nice protection to the environmental elements that are around me and especially during the changes of season. I hope you know what I mean by that. I also like to put it in my bath at night with a cup of Epsom salts, maybe baking soda also, or either one, but you have to have an emulsifier when you put it in the bath. So maybe seven drops in a large bath with the Epsom salts and enjoy, sit back and relax with it. Other ways to use lavender, it's the queen. I call this baby the queen of oils because when you are wondering which oil to try, reach for your lavender because it is usually safe to use. Now, the other one that goes right along with that is the king of oils, and this is frankincense. And frankincense is my big old buddy. And I love to drop frankincense on the crown of my head, just make sure the little plastic piece is engaged, or rub a few drops on my heart. And when we're using these oils, we're talking about one to three drops. So when you drop that in your hand, I think I need a little frankincense right now. I'm gonna let it drop. Notice I'm not salt and pepper shaking the oil. Some are thin and come out really fast. Others are thicker and you have to be patient. These oils teach us lessons. They teach us how to pause and take it in. It's in my hand. I'm gonna rub my hands three times together clockwise, and then I'm just gonna rub it on topically. Now, some of these oils are very safe, generally regarded as safe to put in topically. Oh, and they all smell amazing. If you don't like the smell of it, it means you need it. Mm. So there's gonna be a few you don't like. <laughs> but if you need them, put them on, even if it's on the bottom of your feet. The bottom of your feet are the safest place to put them on. Your skin is thicker there, but the oil molecules are so small that they will travel where they need to go in the body. So you can always put them on the feet. But if you wanna smell that scent and that aroma up, you wanna put it maybe on the back of your neck is one of my favorite places, or on the heart. Now, let's be safe. If you wanna know, is this oil safe for me to use, go ahead and place it right on your inner arm. I'm going to take a drop of, this one might be empty because I think we've used it all. Let me try a different one. I'll take a drop of RC and put it right on the inside of my arm and I'm just going to wait and see if there's any sensitivity on that spot on my body. If there were sensitivity, I would grab a carrier oil like olive oil, coconut oil, jojoba oil, almond oil, basic vegetable oil, and rub that on that spot if I felt any sensitivity, redness, rash, anything like that. You always want to dilute oils if you feel like there could be a sensitivity, okay? Dilution is with a carrier oil like I just explained, okay? But to keep going, frankincense, which one, where'd he go? My buddy, he brings together my physical, my emotional, and my mental brain. Like all that emotion comes together and joins into balance. So I feel this sense of, ah. Oh. You may be triggered by emotion with frankincense from some of you from the church, and just know that these go into the olfactory, into the limbic system where emotion and memory are stored. So these are helpful in retraining the emotions that you may feel, okay? So a story, a quick story, side note on that. 
rose essential oil, our highest vibrational oil. Everybody loves rose. Well, when I smelled it, Pam went straight to grandma's house, sleeping with grandma without her teeth in. And I came to that memory where she had no teeth. I don't really want to remember that. I was always a little afraid, like seriously, I'm the one that has to speak, sleep with grandma. And I had to retrain that, that memory. So I would smell rose and I would think of my happiest place. And I would smell rose and I would think of my happiest place. And now I can laugh about that memory. I don't go there every time I smell rose. So you can do the same. So with that peppermint, here's another one right out of your kit. Peppermint is so great. Now, he is in a white label. The white labels mean they're vitality essential oils for Young Living, and that means they are safe to ingest, to use internally as dietary supplements. So with any of our oils that have the white label, you can ingest. Now, peppermint is great in water, but we always have to use glass or stainless steel because we don't want to eat the petrochemicals from the outsides of a plastic cup, right? So we want that to be in glass. Peppermint's very strong, so we want to put it in a large glass pitcher full of water and drink from that pitcher to try it out. You may get so used to it like me that you can actually take a swab of it and put it in your mouth for fresh breath. But other ways to use it is topically it supports a healthy digestive system internally and topically. And it also, my favorite way to use it is to cool me off. So if it's a really hot weather, say you're at a baseball game, you're going to Disney World, you're working out hard, one of those ways, take a little drop, put it on the nape of your neck, maybe behind each ear, and it's your own personal fan, cooling fan. Okay, we talked about lemon a little bit. I'm gonna grab lemon again. And I'm gonna say lemon is great in your water too. Do you notice it's white label? So lemon, three to six drops in water in a glass cup first thing in the morning to hydrate your organs before you put anything else it will ha help a happy immune system, right? And it alkalinizes the body. Great for the digestive system as well. But lemon on other uses is great next to the kitchen sink. Lemon will get rid of your stickies. And on my YouTube channel, I have a video that explains that, taking a sticker out of a pan, a new pan. So check that video out. I also like lemon in the diffuser. It's very uplifting scent, right? It's very uplifting to the body and gives you energy. It makes everyone happy maybe as you're preparing for school or preparing for the day. I also like to drop it in my laundry with my laundry soap to give all my clothes a fresh scent. So there's multiple, multiple uses for each oil. Another one that we have is Thieves Essential Oil. And Thieves Essential Oil, we have a whole line of products with Thieves. Why is it called Thieves? Well, it's a blend of eucalyptus, rosemary, lemon, cinnamon, and clove. So when you open this one up and take it in, it smells so nice. It smells very holiday season-like, but the name comes from the story of the Black Plague back in the day when there were spicers and herbologists that were stealing from all the people with the plague and they were not getting sick. Well, they were not getting sick because they were putting these, this blend of herbs and oils all over themselves. So they were staying well. The king even had them, had them captured to see what in the world kept them well. Well, thieves is beautiful oil to support a healthy immune system, to help to support a healthy respiratory system. So check out all the products with Thieves, because I believe if you change your hand soap to Thieves, if your toothpaste is Thieves, if your mouthwash is Thieves, your laundry detergent, all the different options that you will have support for a healthy immune system easily throughout your life and your day. So from there is the oil of purification. The oil of purification, when you open this one up, the main oil in here you smell is citronella. So this is an odor eliminizer or neutralizer. So 
If your dog gets skunked, <laughs> purification. If you paint your house, put a little few drops in the paint and your house will not have those toxic fumes of paint. If you um, have any type of scent in your home that you're wanting to just neutralize, put purification in the diffuser. You can also use this oil topically. It can have some skin sensitivity, so be very careful. And test it on your arm. By the way, I have no sensitivities to RC. I have no feeling in my arm, so I'm good with RC essential oil topically. Um, but purification is great in the laundry as well. I love it in my laundry to neutralize those workout clothes smells, okay? So, back to lemon really quick. Any of our oils that are citrus oils are sensitive to the sun, so photosensitive. So be careful putting them on and going out in the sun. I always say put them where the sun don't shine if you're gonna apply lemon topically and then go outside or any of the citrus oils. Okay, so let's talk about RC that we just, my skin test is totally normal, no sensitivities. RC stands for respiratory care. And RC is so full of support for respiratory care. It's a bunch of different oils of eucalyptus. So when you smell this, you can feel where it's going in your body. Ah. So I, hopefully you're getting these out of your box and you're smelling them along with me and you're thinking of ways that you can use them in your lifestyle and where to put them in your home and in your life so that you will use them, okay? So next is Digize. And Digize essential oil supports a healthy digestive system. This may, out of the whole box, this may be the one that you go, mm, I'm not too sure about that scent. It's very different and it's a blend. I should know all the oils in it, but off the top of my head, I'm gonna say, or I'm gonna read, ginger, peppermint, juniper, fennel, lemongrass, anise, and patchouli is in this blend. So we can rub this on topically or notice the white label. We can put it in our um, foods but with this one, I would put it in a capsule because it does not taste great. So I would put it in a capsule, maybe with a little olive oil for a healthy digestive system if you need it. You can read more about that in your literature that comes with the kit. And then my last two oils, copaiba, that's a different one. Copaiba comes from Brazil and is tapped directly from the tree. And it's a thicker oil and it has a very light scent. So it comes in both topical and the white label vitality oil. My favorite way to use this oil is to drop a little bit on my thumb and rub it around in my mouth. It's very buttery tasting, but it supports an overall whole wellness system. So it, overall wellness all the way around. It has very little taste. I also like to tell people if they feel areas on their body that hold heat, copaiba is a nice one to put on that area of the body. So maybe your knees, your shoulders, your elbows, your ankles, um, really nice and it has a very light scent. All last but not least, I think of all the oils is Panaway. And Panaway has a protective cap because when you open up and smell Panaway, it smells so good, you wanna eat it. <laughs> so we wanna make sure that our children are safe and that they don't open this up and think it's so good that they want to drink it. It smells to some like Wrigley Spearmint Gum, it smells like some like Ben Gay or um, what was that salve that I used? My dad would always give to me. I have to think about that. Um, can't think of it right now. Anyway, kids, when they open this up, they think of root beer. So really nice, smells good. The name kind of leads you, Panaway. So you can put this on topically. topically. We say it's great to enhance a workout or after a workout for sure, but look in your literatures and look in third-party references that are affiliated with Young Living and really look up these oils on more ways to use them. So that is your 11 oils in the starter kit.
Thank you for listening to my quick synopsis of how to get them out of the box, get them into your life, and some different suggestions on how to use them. But I'm going to tell you, keep watching and we'll educate you more and more and get on all my Facebook groups. I have Fun, Love, and Wellness for members of my team. I have a business page, Fun, Love, and Wellness with Pamela Hunter, and of course my YouTube page. You just go to YouTube forward slash Pamela Hunter and you'll see more, more videos. Thanks for joining us.